Carrie and Lucy. <laughs> this is my daughter Lucinda. Today we're going to help you guys work through a pinch pot tutorial. So I'm going to bring the camera down and then show you all the material. Yeah. Okay. You can talk about the material. Go ahead. So this is like um, melty beads. They feel like hard but they melt. So I included in each of your kits um, some little beads. And these are great because when you press them in the clay, they go in, but they're super colorful. They're really good for fine tuning your motor skills. Um, so yeah, so you'll have some beads. Each student will get a little nugget of clay. And then you're also gonna have, you guys have pretty much all our clay tools right now, so I'm a little low in this bowl, but you'll have a bowl of clay tools. At the end for teachers, you guys will use the Mod Podge and the brush included, okay? So the first thing you're gonna let your students do is play with the clay. Mm -hmm. So but, they're gonna have it in their hands. Yeah, you can And they're gonna kind of roll it around. Mm -hmm. You can do it like this. You can or... encourage them, and then you can pass out to each friend a different tool. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can put the tools in front of them so they can so, explore the tools. There might be some in this, like you can, like, these do stripes. The texture on it? Yeah, texture, and these do, like, dots. So there are different tools for each student to play with, and it's important for them to just play with the clay at first. Learn the hand, how it feels. So Lucy right now is just playing with the clay. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, show them. She made a little happy face. But I'll go ahead and show you some simple hand building skills that you can do with each student. So Lucy, do you wanna listen? Yeah. All right, can you show our friends how you would make a pancake? Maybe by patting it or, oh, she's using her muscles and smushing it down. And now we have, that's a thick pancake, huh? A thick one, so you can just scowl it all up. Can you now take that pancake and make some holes into it? How would you make your holes into it? So if you have a big one of these, you could, but these, this one's bigger, so these these cut it out. That's how you would make some holes? Can you push it out? Mm -hmm. push. And also use your finger to make holes, can't push, you? Push, push, push. You gotta show them. And that's one of my circles I made. And so she made some holes in it. Mm -hmm. Now can you take that um, clay and can you make a snake? How would you make a snake? How would you show our friends how to make a snake? Oh, she's rolling the clay up and down and up and down up and down And she has a snake. Can you take that snake now and make a snail? How would you make a snail? And then she has a snail. So all these skills that they're using um, their hands to do are just simple hand building skills. So you guys can let your students play with this clay for a while. You can also add a little bowl of, um, a little cup of water, just a very small amount, like half an inch, and they can practice getting their clay wet, uh, seeing what happens with it, using the wet clay with the tools. But right now we're gonna skip right into the pinch pot activity. Are you ready? Yeah. So you're gonna roll your clay into one ball. Like this ball, but it's not like this. Yeah, it's kind of like that ball. We're all done with the tools. So as she's rolling, I'm gonna put the tools away. Mm -hmm. And you can almost also use your hands. Yep, you can go from hand to hand, like she's doing right now. So like pushing all those like, um, like, like little like triangles. It's not triangle. It's so corners. Corners. Um, does your ball have to be perfect? No. No. So now she rolled out this ball, <laughs> and she's gonna find the middle of it. So find the center and give yourself a little thumbprint in it. Oh, that's not. Dum, dum, dum. So she found the center, and as she pressed it in, she gave herself a flat side, mm -hmm. and that's fine. So now you're gonna push your thumb in a little bit more, not through the clay, but kind of deep. And now we're gonna pinch. Yeah. I so know. with your thumb inside, do you wanna show them? Thumb inside and fingers on the outside, you're gonna pinch just like a duck. Quack, quack, oh, almost. You wanna put your thumb inside. So the reason you want your thumb inside is you wanna slowly pinch out your clay. You wanna <laughs> slowly stretch it open. 
and your students might stretch it out till it's really wide, but the wider you make your pinch pot, the less um, the less strong it is. And so if you want to paint this after, you can basically do that. Yeah, you could paint this if you guys wanted to have your students paint it, but what are we going to use to add some jazziness? This. The melty bees. bees. So Lucy's going to start taking her beads, mm -hmm. and she's going to start pressing them. Hmm on the outside of her pinch pot. She can also put it on the inside. If I was teaching this class, now would be a great time, since I have a flat side, to put your students' initials at the bottom. So, what's your first name? Why? Lucy, Lucy. L, and then what's your last name? Um, w. W, so I would put an L and a W right at the bottom and I'm just using the back of the brush. You guys can use a popsicle stick, a toothpick, but now I know whose is whose. So she's just gonna work with this, get a few colors on. If they pinch the, um, if they push the melty bead, they have to see what you're doing. If you push the melty bead and it goes all the way through and you create a little hole, that's okay. You can just pinch it close again, but just keep adding all kinds of colors. Can you keep adding some so they can see? Yeah. Because mommy's gonna have to take over. And that is, I just need three more, more like. So I'm gonna um, not rush Lucinda, but we're gonna do this a little bit faster. But as you can tell, they could do this for a very long time. So don't rush your students. They're concentrating. They're pressing their pieces in. They're making a personal choice. So she's picking out the colors that she wants. Um, it looks like she's making another face. The only thing I would say if I was teaching this class is like, be careful when you push it in so you don't smush your pinch pot clothes. Yeah. So if you don't want it there, just like take it out and yeah. Yeah, you can move it around. If you, um, Make a little hole. Clay's really forgiving, so you can fix the little hole. She's pinching out some designs. You can make some designs if you want. I'm just making a little crazy thing. Um, these are really cute gifts to give also to like families. Thanksgiving's coming up, so you can make one for grandma. Yeah, I basically, Your uncle, I basically mom, just dad. made this. Um, you just need three for the mouth, two for the eyes, and yeah, you're done. So, yeah, so once your students have pressed their beads in, I'm going to show you on the back you um, what it might look like if you're not trying to do a face. So you could just have them press in all kinds of different colors, just yeah. like that. You just fill it up, and they're very easy to push in. I just made up these. A little things. bit goes a long way. So you guys can sprinkle um, the beads around your students. You don't have to give them all the beads. If you don't use all the beads, it's a little normal because a little bit goes a long way. Yeah. Um, then once you have it on the outside, you can also add some on the inside. Inside is a little trickier, but again, we're problem solving, trying to figure out how if to do it. If you just want to just do it, like, if you just want to sprinkle it, you can just sprinkle it in and then, like, just press it on like that. And sprinkle then, it in yeah. and then press it on. Yeah. And just push them in. So, these, these materials. if you look at how I did them, I got them in there nice and flush. But the ones that um, Lucy sprinkled in, they're not quite flush. But that's mm -hmm. where the magic of Mod Podge is going to come. So you guys each have a little container of Mod Podge. You can do these when the um, clay is still wet, or you can do it when the clay has time has had time to dry. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your brush, brush that came in the boxes, and you're just gonna Mod Podge your whole little pinch pot. Yeah. I would do it when it's wet just to get it done, and then the next day your students can come back and they can take their little pinch pot home. But if you guys want to do it when they're dry, you can do that too. But as you see, you just Mod Podge. Um, your Mod Podge is white, so it's don't worry. It's like It'll dry. It's like invisible. It'll dry clear, right, Luce? Yeah, like the table. 
Well, the table's great, but say you get what we're saying. You get what you're saying. So see on the inside with the ones that were just sprinkled in, I'm just glazing right yeah. on top of them. And then I'm gonna glaze the edge too. Stop moving, you're moving again. Just like that. And so then you have your little pinch pot, the initials are on the bottom, and then you can set it aside. So what this activity does is it builds concentration. It helps them fine tune their motor skills. They're making a personal choice when picking out the colors for their, mod, um, for their pinch pots. They're working their hand and eye coordination by building up um, the pinch pot. And then also by using the tools, they get to have a really fun time, right? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's our little tutorial for today. Mm -hmm. Um, do you want to add anything? Like, do you like making pinch pots? Yeah. Um, so, so I make a lot of pinch pots. I made some before, but there's like this, um, place that you can make lots of pinch pots. Oh, Penguin Foot? Yeah, Penguin Yeah, it's a foot. pottery place in, yeah. um, right up in Logan. But anyway, um, we're going to sign off for today. If you guys have any questions, you guys can email us. Um, but yeah, these are great little gifts to hand out for the holiday coming up. So it's what our little series is going to be until the holidays are over is just making little thoughtful things. So have a great day. Bye. Bye.